What could you say to God when you meet God? The Bible says, prepare to meet thy God. What are you going to say? If God were to ask you, why should I let you into heaven? What are you going to say? You're good? You mean with all those thoughts that you have? Come on, let's think about what you've been thinking about. Do you realize your thoughts one day will be judged by a holy and righteous God? You know what the Bible says? Jesus said, if a man looks upon a woman to lust after her in his heart, he has already committed adultery with her. Now here's a man that did not go to bed with a woman. He thought about it. That's the danger of pornography. Thinking about it. If you're thinking about somebody in a sexual way that's not your spouse, the Bible says your thinking is adultery. And you may not ever sleep with that person. But if you thought about it, you are charged with adultery. And I know America doesn't look as adultery as harsh and cruel because it's on the television. It's on the movie screens. But adultery is a serious sin. And adultery makes you a sinner. And you don't have to do it. You just have to think about it. Thinking is more of a sin than doing. What have you been thinking about all week? And then you're going to turn around to God and say, God, I can go into heaven. And God will say, what have you been thinking about? Have you ever hated anybody hate, hateful enough where you wanted them dead? I wish that person will drop dead. You know, the Bible says you're a murderer. Though you did not kill, you thought about killing. Though you did not commit adultery, you thought about adultery. Thinking is a sin. And never mind the actions that you have done. We will be judged by a holy and righteous God for what we do and what we think about doing. Have you ever thought about deceiving somebody? Well, if I do this, I can get an advantage. Well, then you are a deceiver in your thoughts. We will be judged by a holy and righteous God for doing and thinking about doing. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. We are guilty. For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. And I know you are guilty of your thoughts. I wish that preacher will shut up. And yet the Bible says that he loves the feet of them that carry the glad tidings. When you don't enjoy what God enjoys, that's a sin. When you reject Jesus Christ, that is a sin. For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. There is none righteous. 
And we probably sin more by thinking than we do doing because we're too scared to do what we think about. I mean, come on, the law would prevent you from killing that person. Well, if I kill him like I want to kill him, I'm going to go to jail. But you are already guilty of murder by thinking about it. Have you ever been two-faced? You say one thing to somebody, but you believe completely the opposite. Friend, that is the sin of hypocrisy. You're a hypocrite. That's a sin. For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. We all stand guilty before a holy and righteous God. If we're to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, we should be saved. The Lamb of God which take away the sin of the world, the sin that you do, and the sin that you think about doing. The reality is, we are sinners. We are guilty. And if we confess our sins, he's faithful and just to forgive us of our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. And the only way you can get rid of the guilt and the sin of doing and thinking it's through the blood of Jesus Christ and the finished work upon the cross of Jesus Christ by God. But you are guilty for doing and you are guilty for thinking about doing. All you got to do is maneuver it in your mind. It's a sin. And God will judge us our sins unless our sins are put under the blood of Jesus Christ. And there's only one you go to. You don't go to a priest for your sins. You're going to go to a priest as a sinner and your priest is a sinner. Well, come on, let me wash your muddy car with mud. I've got a bucket of mud, and I'll wash your car. That's what you're doing when you go to a sinful priest. And all priests are sinners, for all have sinned. You as a sinner is going to a sinner to be resolved of the sins. That doesn't happen. Matter of fact, he has added sin to his life, and you have added sins to your life because you didn't go to Jesus Christ with your sins. There's only one that can resolve our sins, and that one is the Lord Jesus Christ. For with the heart man believeth unto righteousness, and with the mouth confessions made unto salvation, with your heart believe on the finished work of Jesus Christ. And you too can have your sins cleansed. You too can have your sins washed. And you too can have your sins forgotten by God. Listen, all your sins one day that are not under the blood will be played out for all the world to see. Only the sins under the blood of Jesus are not revealed. Is there anything that God cannot do? He cannot see your sins under the blood of Jesus. And one day... At the judgment seat of Christ or the great white throne judgment, 
all your sins that are not under the blood will be, your best friend will see everything you've done. Your husband will see everything that you've done. Your parents will see all the things that you have done. You will be revealed to your employer. All the world will see what you've done and what you thought. If you don't want to face the music with the world and your doing of sins and you're thinking about sins, come to Jesus Christ and be washed of your sins. The Lamb of God which take away the sin of the world. Everything that's in your private life will be revealed one day. Unless you believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and you confess them sins and he forgives your sins and he cleanses you of, you of your sins or they're going to be played out for all to see. That's the King James Bible. The sins that are not under the blood will be revealed for all to see. And the sins that are under the blood of Jesus Christ, not even God will remember. Sin is a very serious issue. Because it is sin and death and hell that Jesus Christ left his throne in heaven. He didn't come down to heaven to have a powwow with the earthlings. He didn't come down to heaven to party with us. He came down from heaven to suffer and die upon Calvary's cross to shed God's blood that we might have life. And if you are not washed in the blood of Jesus Christ, you will be naked before God, you'll be naked before all the holy angels, and you'll be naked before all mankind as God exposes everything. Let me read to you the book of Revelation. The book of Revelation. Revelation 20. And the sea gave up the dead that were in them. And death and hell were delivered up the dead which were in them. And they were judged every man according to their works. And death and hell were cast in the lake of fire. This is the second death. You will be judged by all your works. Your good works and your bad works and your secret works. You will stand before a holy and righteous God and you will have to give an account. Jesus says in Matthew, every idle word a man speaks, he shall give an account. Everything you said, good or bad, everything you have done, good or bad, everything that you thought, good or bad, You'll have to give an account before God. Unless you put your faith and trust in Jesus Christ. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. Saved from what? You don't go to hell and you don't, won't be exposed. That secret crush. Those secret fantasies. Put them under the blood of Jesus Christ. Those lies, that idle chick chat, put it under the blood of Jesus Christ. Come to Jesus and be saved. Or one day, and whosoever was not found written in the book of life was cast into the lake of fire. You go from hell to the lake of fire for all eternity. For rejecting Jesus Christ. You know what the expression is? Go jump in the lake. 
where Jesus will say to you, if you never repented and trusted him, depart from me, you workers of iniquity, I never knew you. You know what that's, you know what God, that's a companion to say? That's God saying, go to hell. Now, if a man says go to hell, who cares? But what about when God tells you, go to hell? That's eternal. That's forever. Because you refuse and you reject Jesus Christ as your Savior. One day, outside the blood of Jesus Christ, you will have to give an account of everything you do and everything you thought of. God will judge our thoughts unless you put it under the blood of Jesus Christ. You know, it's God, not Santa Claus. He's making a list and checking it twice. That's God. Behold the eyes of the Lord in every place, beholding the evil and the good. Don't put your faith and trust in Santa Claus. Put your faith and trust in Jesus. Santa Claus is not real. Jesus is real. Santa needs to check that, twi that list twice. God only needs to check it once. Your entire life is being recorded in a book. And that book is titled, Your First Name, Your Middle Name, and Your Last Name. And God is recording it all. And the only way to get entries deleted in your book is by the blood of Jesus Christ, the eraser of God. When you confess your sins, he is faithful that he will cleanse and forgive you of your sins and erase those sins. But you must come to Jesus Christ. You must believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. You must put the faith in the finished work of Jesus Christ, suffering and dying according to the scriptures and being buried. And arose again the third day according to the scriptures. God's writing it all down. And God is a great bookkeeper. Come to Jesus. Come to Calvary to be cleansed of your sins.